And welcome to Enzyme Mental. I'm Jason Carter. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about the enzyme natokinase, which is one of the best proteolytic or therapeutic enzymes for supporting optimal circulation. The ability of blood to coagulate can be a critical part of survival in the case of severe injury, and that's one reason we have healthy clotting. But when blood clots occur at the wrong times, in the wrong places, they can have serious and even deadly consequences. Unfortunately, treatment options for these circumstances are quite limited, and treatment must be administered very quickly. So blood clots, which are otherwise known as thrombi, form when strands of protein called fibrin accumulate in a blood vessel. In the heart, blood clots Clots cause blockage of blood flow to muscle tissue, and if blood flow is blocked, the oxygen supply to that tissue is cut off and it eventually dies. This can result in angina and heart attacks. Clots in chambers of the heart can mobilize to the brain, and in the brain, blood clots also block oxygen from reaching necessary areas, which can result in senility and or even strokes. Dr. Hiroyuki Sumi, a Japanese researcher working at the University of Chicago's medical school, began searching for a substance that could dissolve and even prevent blood clots. The traditional Japanese food natto, made from fermented soy, contains an enzyme called natto kinase, and this enzyme can actively prevent and even dissolve blood clots, and so in this way it's able to actually safeguard people from heart and arteries, heart attack, stroke, angina, and even senility. While the human body contains several enzymes that promote the creation of blood clots, it produces only one single enzyme, known as plasmin, that dissolves clots, and the production of that enzyme, like everything else, diminishes as we grow older. Modern medicine includes several thrombolytic or clot-busting drugs, and the leading variety is known as TPA, or tissue plasminogen activators, and these would be things like activase, urokinase, and streptokinase. TPAs are extremely expensive, so most patients don't receive the treatment, and the drug's impact can be short-lived. Urokinase, for example, begins to lose effectiveness around 20 minutes after administration. But when Dr. Sumi's researchers dropped natto onto an artificial blood clot in a petri dish and allowed it to stand at body temperature, the blood clot gradually dissolved and disappeared completely within 18 hours. So what makes natto kinase particularly effective is that natto kinase bolsters the body's natural abilities to fight blood clots in several different ways. It closely resembles plasmin, and also it dissolves fibrin directly. Additionally, natto kinase also enhances the body's production of both plasmin and other natural clot dissolving agents like natural urokinase. In some ways, natto kinase can be viewed as being actually superior to conventional clot dissolving drugs because TPAs like urokinase are only effective when taken intravenously and often fail simply because a stroke or heart attack victim's arteries have hardened beyond the point where they can be treated by any clot dissolving agent. A daily dose of natto kinase, however, can help prevent that hardening. Many Japanese have long believed that regular consumption of natto tends to lower blood pressure, and research on natto has actually confirmed this. And of course, with natto being a soy product, and also famously rich in vitamin K, there will be some people who are hesitant to use it because they might be intolerant to both soy and or vitamin K. There are some companies, however, that have been able to isolate the natto kinase enzyme from natto while removing all the soy and vitamin K. So if you are intolerant to either soy and or vitamin K, you absolutely want to look for one of these companies that explicitly states on the bottle that it contains no soy and no vitamin K because there are definitely companies like this. Like all therapeutic enzymes, you absolutely want to take natto kinase on an empty stomach. So again, that would be two hours after a meal or one hour before a meal. I usually take mine around bedtime to let it work all throughout the night. And if you can start doing this regularly, like most things, that's where you'll see the best benefit. And one final thing to remember is that enzymes are actually not measured in milligrams. So while the enzyme supplement you have might say that each pill contains 100 milligrams of natto kinase, what you really want to look for is the units of potency. And in the case of natto kinase, the enzyme is measured in what we call fibrinolytic units. And so this is what you want to look for to indicate the potency of the enzyme. The higher the fibrinolytic units on the natto kinase, the more potent it is. So look for a high potency natto kinase and try to take some every day on an empty stomach.
It keeps the blood flowing like nothing else. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.